Hey, what's going on vets? Markel here, back with another video. Hopefully you guys have had a great day today. With that being said, first I would like to say for those of you who had a question about how come there's so many videos on your other channel but you don't have many videos you're putting out this week on this channel. Okay, so on my other channel, Markel's TV, hopefully you guys subscribe to it, um, the, a lot of those videos are already pre-recorded and they're scheduled to be released on certain days. For example, the latest video I put out, the shoe video, that video is like a week old. It's just been sitting in YouTube schedule and it was scheduled to be released today at I forgot what time it was. So those are videos that have already been made and scheduled to be released on certain days where on this channel, I try to do them all real time, okay? So let's move to the first set of questions, which is regarding home health aid for VA as well as social security. How can I apply for home health aid services? Now I did a video already talking about geriatric care, which is what the VA actually calls it, but it is home health aid. So basically what you do at this point, if you know you need help, you need to go to your primary care doctor of your VA, primary care doctor, your psychiatrist, or your social worker. Everyone has a social worker. You may have never talked to him or her um, the entire time you've been going to the VA, but you do have a social worker. So if you find it difficult talking to your doctor or find it difficult talking to your psychiatrist, you can go to your social worker and get it started, okay? That's how you apply at the VA. With social security, it's very simple. You apply through social security. You either go into their office, you fill out an application online, or you call the 800 number and they can walk you through how to fill out the application online. Where to find it, stay with you the entire time till you complete it, okay? Um, now that's home health aid, for those who don't know, is basically someone coming out who I believe is just below a nurse, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comment section, and they come out and they basically assist you at home. Now, from what I remember, when my grandmother had uh, home health services way back when, because I don't know what they do now, and if you're receiving it now, please leave comments below as to what kind of care you're actually receiving right now. But when my grandmother was getting it from Social Security, they would come and do um, personal grooming, like they would comb her hair, they would actually give her a bath, they would comb her hair, they would do her nails, her toenails, and then they would clean the house, they would wash the dishes, um, they would wash the clothes, uh, and then they would sit and talk to her for probably most of the day. I believe that person was there between five and six hours a day. Now, I have no idea what they do now, but I'm sure some of you guys who are currently receiving home health aid, whether it's through VA or through Social Security, if you could please explain, you know, down below what exactly they do for you. So for guys and ladies out there who need home health aid, you have a better idea of what kind of assistance you're actually going to get. All right. Oh, side note real quick. If you're overseas, because there's a lot of you guys who watch are overseas, this is something you will not be able to get from either one. The VA nor Social Security is going to send someone to your home. That is something you need to be in the U.S or US territories, all right? So let's move to the next question, <clears throat> which is, would you happen to know what is the maximum amount for SSI? Now, this is something that's a simple Google search, guys. You know, some things you can just pick up your phone and go, hey, Google, blah, 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 blah. And I just turned on my Google <laughs> that I didn't mean to do. But anyway, I'll go ahead and answer it, but those are things that are very simple to do, guys, with a quick Google search, which is what I did. So the maximum amount on SSI for an individual, okay, not a married couple, but an individual, is $841 until the new COLA comes in January or whatever, January of 2023. Okay, and then the maximum amount for SSDI, as of right now, is $3,333, okay? Those are the max for both. Okay, last question that I got is a question regarding the CPI. Now, Blank Slate left a comment on a post I put out uh, regarding, I forgot exactly what it was, but he indicated, and, it's, and I saw it later on about the CPI being higher than what they expected. They expected the CPI to be much lower. It was actually up a tick, 
So that helped out people who are gonna receive the COLA, including myself, are uh, going into 2023. That just leaves this month is what they need to do their calculations to determine what the COLA is gonna be. And if you're doing investments, it wasn't a good, very good day for you when they announced that because the market started going the wrong way. So, but for the COLA, that was great news. So this is the last month. Hopefully, hopefully a little uptick this month uh, when it comes to inflation. That way there's a big enough number. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, my guess, and I said it in the live, between 8.5, maybe 9.1. It just depends on this month, all right? But that's it for this video, man. The only other thing I want to say is, bro, if you have not subscribed to Love and Freedom's channel, okay, you guys should subscribe to his channel. He did a video, it might be two days ago now, it's called Real Talk, where he basically laid it out, man, uh, of his real feelings, what he goes through, which is going to be the similar case for a lot of people. But with that being said, guys, hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your day.